everybody, it's your boy, True Ninja Boom, coming at you all with a brand new video, man. And you know, I got it on me. Come on, why are you looking at my butt like that, bro? Nah, we just looking at the True Legion logo. Stop playing. Um, I'm taking this off, but I had to show y'all, man. We just unboxed this because it's actually snowing outside. I wanted to get a little goofy in the snow. Like, oh, I just get goofy every day of my life. So what am I saying? The True Religion Trooper, though, come on, bro. This top part is, like, so over-exaggerated. It's ridiculous. Let me settle down a little bit, though. I'm also freezing because I was taking photos and I had to wear the plain white tee with the truth. I'm done with my Chief Keep cosplay. Let's talk about this Supreme Week because it's one of the final weeks of the season. We are coming down to it. But they are releasing some pretty cool stuff this week. Right out the rip. Spider collab. Are we feeling it or not, gentlemen? Now, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you know Spiderweb design just gets to me, bro. I don't know. It's like my sick little pleasure. So you already know I'm actually fucking with this collab a lot. If anything, I almost wish they did more stuff with the spider print on it. I mean, it all is spider print, but it's only like a four item collab. I would have actually been happy if they made this one even bigger. Uh, let's get into discussing this week, what we're going to be going for, what I recommend for y'all. I do see one item this week I've been waiting on all season long because... It's going to be busting. It's going to be twerking for sure on the resale market. Drop a like if you guys do enjoy the video and let's get into it. So first things first, if you do want to join my cook group, get you some half off DoorDash, add to cart services, uh, restock monitors, as well as my written carts for what to go for every single week. Just hit us up on Instagram at browser, get a free seven day trial. It's a great deal. Like you can't lose. Feel free to try out their group. You guys see me there every drop day saying what's up to the boys, um, but let's get in and talk about this list. So we'll go over the accessories first since they seem to be the most up. And the number one item of the week is going to be this tea set coming in at 168 a little bit of a bummer um, I mean I kind of expected it at this point we all know the supreme accessories this season have been so overpriced uh, where was this one made I already know it's in some bougie country yeah made in Japan does come with two teacups which is pretty sick and almost makes me want to like dive right in honestly I'm a fan of this um, I don't know if it's gonna have a ton of resale it is a pretty decent deal since you get the two cups along with the pot I wish we had seen like maybe a little floral print on this or something it's just a little basic for me to justify spending this much I'd rather just go get the supreme espresso cup and those come in a little bit cheaper on the resale market. This is going to be a pass for me. Uh, I'm guessing it'll sell around $2.15 maybe. Not really much money to be made after taxes and stuff, but it probably will sell out unlike a lot of accessories we've seen lately. And possibly unlike this RC car, which we are receiving at $3.48. Supreme has done an item like this before, but that other one you had to build yourself and was also very expensive. This is coming in at $3.48. Definitely painful because this would have been such a hard item to display somewhere. Let's be real. Uh, none of us are going to be using this. To the 5% of people that do, let me see a video because I'm sure it's going to be sick. Um, I've seen videos of people drifting these and stuff, which is pretty awesome. Like, I'm sure it's super fun to use, but at the end of the day, I'm not justifying a 348 price tag. I don't really see profit on this one. You don't have to build it yourself, which really killed the other one. And I think the design on this is even cooler. Now, let's talk about this collab. I asked you guys already what your opinion is. If you haven't commented it, let me know, bro. I'm actually curious because this is one of those collabs that seems pretty divisive. But from the pictures I've seen, I'm rocking with it. I think it's cool, not just for the spider stuff either. I like the gradient pattern. As always, I really like when Supreme brings out these really random companies nobody is expecting them to work with. I had never heard of Spider before. I've never been to skiing or snowboarding like that. But I love that Supreme put me onto this one, looked into Spider. I'm guessing they're not very relevant anymore since I've just never heard of them. But I think this collab is actually pretty decent. The black jacket, the fleece, I almost want to get one, man. It's kind of got that Venom look to it. We know this is like the Spider-Man collab pretty much. Um, we got a balaclava as well that's super fire. I really like this jacket though, dude. I'm not going to lie to you this thing is spanking like everyone's liking the spider-man color more it seems like which is sick i've never been someone that like is super geeked over spider-man toby mcguire spider-man is kind of where i stopped watching the series the spider-man jacket is fire but i really like the black one dude i almost I don't need more fleeces from Supreme, but I low-key see some potential on these fleeces. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It might not be like a first day sell item, but I truly think this is one of those collabs that you see a couple months go by and all of a sudden, a couple of the items are performing way more than people expected. Now, to be fair, the fleeces are 248, which is pretty hefty. Um, I would not even look at the green fleece. I think the green to brown gradient, I'm not as crazy about as much as I want to like it. The gradient just doesn't quite mix to me. Maybe it's like the shade of green they use, kind of like a lucky charm. 
farms green instead of more of a forest. But I would guess this Spider-Man color does the best, honestly. I've just seen so much love for it. It literally has a fucking fat spider on it, man. The black is definitely my favorite. Really could see myself getting one too. It's 248 though. That is the issue. That's a little pricier. We usually see like 228 for a fleece. Those are the reversible ones. Um, 248, a little tough, but I recommend XL, dude. XL fleeces always do nicely, even on some of the brickier fleeces. Um, it's gonna get over 300, no question. So if you were to go buy this one for resale, I'd be going XL Spider-Man color or the Black Venom color. And I honestly think you could get a sale of 350 by the time winter's over with no problem. That's XL specifically. That is always the best size for fleeces without question. Other size is a little more of a gamble, but again, man, I actually think this one's gonna age nicely. Like every spider web item from Supreme usually does. It's a pretty well liked design. Now for the pants, I'm not quite as crazy about them. I just never really like polar pants. I feel like they're just hard to blend with shoes and these ones are obviously super crazy. These are gonna be a skip for me. At 198, I would just pay the extra 50 for the fleece that you know is gonna perform probably a lot better. But man, do I love this full suit. I just don't get the hate, bro. It's so fun. Like, bro, if you want these basic ass collabs with like brands you're gonna like, go follow Kit. Like, no, no hate to Kit people. Kit stays in their lane, keeps it safe with collabs. I like Supreme because they just get crazy with it. And if you're not about that, then you don't like Supreme as a brand because that's just what they are known for. I just get so sick of these IG commenters so fast to be like, oh bro, this shit's so fucking trash. Next up, the half zip pullovers. These are probably the most disappointing part of the collab for me. I'm really not feeling them. The spider web design looks kind of bizarre. It's really not a fan, don't see profit. And we do have the balaclavas, which I'm also a bit bummed on. Now, don't get me wrong, these are super hard and I do think they're gonna have some profit on them. But man, I wish they kept that same gradient pattern, man. The black with the gradient would have been sick, but this Spider-Man color with the gradient, if they had kept that like the fleece, this thing would be doing crazy because it does have the spider, a nice supreme hit. The balaclavas are still cool. 58's a little more expensive for a lightweight balaclava. They're taxing a bit on that, but I think you'll see these hit like around 80 or so. Really the red and the black. The yellow is actually pretty cool on this, but I don't know. Red and black is just safer to me. Definitely a good multi-card. I'll probably throw the balaclava in a multi-card personally. Next up though, my favorite item of the week for profit, the faux fur line zip up hoodie. Now, you guys probably knew I was going to say this one because we've been eyeing this all season long. Very similar to the faux fur zip up jacket that probably was one of the best performing lookbook items of all time from Supreme. Those sold for like three or four hundred retail, now sell for over like 2k and they are really really sick, I can't lie. I remember when those dropped. This is like an almost exact replica of that in a zip up hoodie form. But I'm guessing the inside is also faux fur lined which is really sick. Like that's actually going to be so hard. Just oh it's going to feel so comfortable. I think the colorways, one of these colors is definitely going to outperform the rest. I want to say natural just off the rip. Like I feel like that usually makes the most sense but something about this light blue, man, is just speaking to me. I think every color is good. The green's good. The black is always going to be a classic. The natural, I feel like, is what everyone's going to like lean toward is the best. It is really nice with the brown letters, but something about this light blue is my personal favorite. I don't really think you can go too wrong. I would guess the green probably does the worst. Blue, natural, and black, all three should perform really well. 198, these are going to hit 300 without question to me. Maybe not right away instantly. Give it like a month or two, and these should be holding super nicely. Very sick item, really good branding on them. I heavily recommend going for one. I'm probably going to be going for one myself to hold on to and resell. Any size, honestly, is going to do well. Double XL, if they make it, is by far the best choice on this. XL is always going to be a good pick for a sweatshirt. I do think it's kind of tough. Let me know what you guys think the best color is on this one because I can't lie though, that brown on the natural looks nice. I don't think it's going to be natural though. It, to me, it's going to be the black or the light blue. Those are my two guesses. I might just go light blue and say yellow. Definitely recommend going for this one though if you're looking for some profit. One of the best sweatshirts of this season without a doubt. And next up, the New Era S logo beanie. Another good multi-cart item. So I already, I think I've seen my cart. Um, probably for me, a balaclava S logo beanie and that faux fur lined hoodie. I like a lot of the colors here, but actually, I, I have to say, I think it's gonna be the red, dude. That just really gives that devil look. I really enjoy the red on this one. I feel like the red hat did kind of well too without looking. I don't know, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna put the fitted prices up here because that's definitely gonna help us out. Um, but I'm gonna actually guess the white on red is gonna do the best for this beanie. Black is a little basic. I actually like the brown a lot. I feel like the brown hat didn't do bad. I like all the colors because they're all baseball colors, which I think is sick. I think I'm gonna actually get the red one for this. So 40 bucks, really good retail. And these new era beanies always got the box logo on the back which helps them out hold on to it it'll probably get up to 70 or 80 just try to sell it before like you're too deep in the spring because the prices for beanies will start to fall really good multi-card item here though next up the fuck around pin 
You know I'm pin collector Boone, but um, this this is so mid, bro. This is the terrible pin to be on. Why couldn't we have gotten like a Devil S logo pin? Literally, like I could probably point out 50 different designs this season that deserve to be on a pin more than this. They're terrible. I'm not gonna be even buying one, which is crazy. I always get the pins. Maybe I'll simp. May, may, <laughs> I always end up simping when it comes drop time, but I really hate these. They look so goofy to me. Oh, and there's another balaclava this week. The Polar Tech Brim balaclava. I mean, they look a little goofy in my opinion, but damn, that black one, I can't deny, probably is gonna have some profit. It does have a box logo on it, but these are also 60, which is a little pricey for a balaclava. They'll probably be around 80 or so. Not a ton of money to be made after fees and everything. I almost like the spider one more, but I won't lie, both the balaclavas this week are a bit pricey. It's not gonna get like super high profit margins on it, so I don't know, probably black or the woodland are the two picks I got. And next up, the leather ear flap box logo, New Eras. The fact these are leather is giving me some pause of like, okay, man, like I swear last leather new era they did, did super nicely. Let me take a look. Okay, well they came out in 2015, but um, leather items from Supreme can just pop off sometimes. It's definitely a risk. And I'm not gonna lie, these ear flap hats are also very like all over the place. Sometimes they do really nice. Sometimes they kind of brick. I have one or two that have brick. So I can't give a huge stamp of approval. 88's a lot of money to spend. I'm not gonna lie, um, there is some chance on these. I'd probably do the black one if I were to buy one of these. I haven't done a leather new era fitted in so long, um, but it's a little too risky for me to actually buy one. I won't be shocked if they end up doing well. It does kind of depend on stock sizes, which I would imagine aren't too big for this. So definitely some chance, but I'm gonna leave this one up to y'all. I'm really not positive on it. Uh, Gore-Tex filled down parka. These are gonna be a skip. Not really feeling those. We have the small box balaclava turtleneck sweaters. These are so bizarre, man. They're kind of fun. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I almost wish they had just kept it as a normal sweater. I like that green color a lot. No. I don't know how you would wear this. I just think it'd be too hard to wear. 148, pretty expensive. So I think these are skips, but I actually enjoy them a lot. I think it's a very unique item. Next up is the Brim Zip Up Hooded Sweatshirt. I'm not a huge fan of these, but those logo applique hoodies they did are very similar to this and did pretty well. Um, maybe this natural, like it has the red hit on it. I think they're corny to be honest, but good logo hoodie from Supreme can really pop off sometimes. It does also have a small box logo on the front. That natural would be my pick of the bunch because it has the red on it, but I'd rather just go for the Fofer. I have way more confidence in that this week. Polar Tech mock neck pullovers. We see these like every season. These are going to be a skip. The Gore-Tex cam cap, uh, 58. Oh, I might have to get the black one. I don't know. I don't want to spend that much this week, but there's some really good multi-card items this week. I actually almost think this black cam cap has a better chance of aging than the Balaclava as we've talked about. I didn't even know this was dropping. The black Gore-Tex, definitely is going to have a chance. Black Gore-Tex cam caps always do well and 58 is a pretty good price for one. So I might even grab that instead of something else I've named already. Maybe like the Balaclava or something because that definitely has a higher ceiling. But let's also talk about these moleskin items. We have the work jacket and pants. I'm a big fan of these. Um, I'm not going to buy them. At the end of the day, it's just blank items you could probably buy from another brand with a little supreme hit. But if them leopard shits go under retail, bro, I might fuck around and do it. I really like the pants. The jacket's also hard, but them double knees, bro. I'm being a good boy. I'm not dropping 188 on them, but if y'all fuck around and let them drop under retail, I might try to scoop a pair. One of those items I really don't need, but I kind of want, man. Um, I just, I don't know. I always love double knees from Supreme. You guys know this. Finally, we have the Interstate Reflective Beanie. These are terrible. Kind of fun, but terrible. So that's going to do it for the week. I think my highest recommendation is definitely the faux fur hoodie. Um, it's probably going to fly as well because there's only four colors. I think everyone's going to be kind of eyeing these based off how the last faux fur jacket did. T set will probably sell out decently fast, but it might have like a 250 price tag first day. If you get a sale like that, that'd be a W, but I do think it's going to fall in its price. It's going to be one of those items people put on a shelf and it's just really not going to age too well. The new era logo beanies, I think in like reds, actually a pretty good scoop for a multi-cart and really the big like question mark of the week is going to be the spider web fleeces. These might end up aging super nicely. 248 is steep though, so that's what kind of worries me. If these were 228, 218, I'd have a lot more confidence. I do have a lot of faith in XL for the Spider-Man or black color, but the other sizes going to be more of a gamble. Spider-Man color is going to lead the pack though, so if you really want to like try to get profit on this one, that's the color I would be picking. But let me know what y'all are going to go for, what you think of the week. It's been your boy Boone. I'm out. Peace.